Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Happy weekend, everybody, to you all as you're getting ready to prepare uh, for a couple of days of enjoyment. It is going to be the first half, or well, the only first half of the week. It's looking pretty okay, and the rest of Saturday and Sunday not looking too uh, great because we have a lot of rain chances moving in thanks to a tropical uh, low-pressure system that's moving through our area that's going to be giving us some beneficial rain uh, for us and possibly too much rain in a short amount of time that could cause some flood concerns uh, for us as well. So right now we're looking at a possibility of a moderate flood risk for going into Sunday uh, right now as uh, some of the computer models are spinning out possibly two, three inches of rain in some parts of our of the city of Martinsville outside of Patrick and uh, Henry counties too in Franklin County right on that one to two inch mark. So uh, again, we're going to be seeing some flood concerns if this all persists and goes as planned. So we'll keep you updated all weekend long on social media. But for the rest of today, we've seen some clouds. We've even seen a little rain in the mist uh, here or there today. It does appear we may break out the clouds and break out the some little bit of sunshine tonight as you're making your way towards sunset this evening, coming get right on 7, uh, 37. So uh, I've been almost at 757. So we're getting closer to that 730 uh, threshold where the sun's setting, uh, getting close to 7 o'clock now, but lots of clear skies at play. So nothing to be complaining about temperatures staying in the 60s for your overnight lows. And again, our average low is 63 degrees. And for most of us, as we make our way through, through the overnight hours, we're going to remain near that, to say the least. And this time, uh, the average low for or the low now for Meta Zidane is now corrected. I, I, our computer system earlier this week was putting a forecast high of 57. Thank goodness that was not the case uh, for you all. But uh, that is the low for tonight there in Meta Zidane, 57, 61, Stewart, 60, both Ridgeway and the city of Martinsville and Henry County, 61, Rocky Mountain, and 63 as you make your way towards Ferrum, Ferrum College with those clear skies overnight and remaining cool. So a not uh, bad of an evening is expected for us as you're doing your things out and about for the start of the Friday, getting ready uh, for a four day weekend for a lot of you all. So it's a pretty short week. And uh, if, uh, if you still have some vacation plan days, just do know that we're gonna see some or some days off maybe that you're doing, uh, just do know that we're gonna see some near normal temperatures, seasonable to put it as high of 80 degrees, a mix of sun and clouds coming in with play with, with our sunrise at 657. So we're almost getting to that point where our sunrises are gonna be clipping uh, six to uh, seven o'clock uh, here pretty soon. So other than that, it is that time of year as uh, we get ready to see the shorter days coming up. Uh, we're roughly about two weeks from the start of the autumn equinox uh, this Thursday, so the 21st of, uh, or, or I think 22nd it is, this is the 21st, is a Wednesday, the 22nd is the first day of our autumn equinox, and we'll let you know what time that starts. Of course, the timing of that is pretty soon. So right now for Friday, area-wide, 70s and some 80s out there, so not a bad start to the weekend. A mix of sunny clouds, milder to put it to say the least, so uh, not a, just an enjoyable afternoon. So school kids, maybe tell your teachers to go out. I give you permission to do recess outdoors. I'm not your teacher now, so don't uh, say, and uh, Dustin said you could do that. I just said you could suggest it if it's a possibility, but of course, I would say the ground is going to be a little soggy thanks to all this rain we've had so maybe you have uh, maybe doing some football practice we're going to uh, show you the football forecast on uh, in just a few seconds here so if you get ready to do some outdoor events for tomorrow just do know it's going to be really nice a good Friday evening and not or any rain delays so uh, as we had before we had some rain right before the, our last game we did uh, to you two weeks ago so we're now in week number three uh, of course uh, with that we'll talk uh, with more on sports as we go ahead after this uh, weather forecast but uh, tune in to tomorrow night at 7 p.m. at BTW 21 a Friday night on our Facebook page we'll have that game live stream both on TV and on Facebook so you can catch that as you are maybe at home and you can't get to the game that's the game of the week at Magna Vista High School, but not a bad day for us on your Friday to get out and take advantage of the sunshine. Maybe even uh, throw the sunscreen on so you can um, uh, get yourself a good tan 
to put it out there to say the least. Again, your football forecast, again, this is uh, sponsored by our friends, uh, 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 one of our sponsors through the Mixes Forecast Possible, Zentmeyer Chiropractic uh, Forecast shows, again, a nice start to the uh, kickoff at 7 o'clock, so 76 coming in here now. This is that Magda Vista against the Gretna Hawks, so Gretna will be traveling to Magna Vista, which is our game of the week there. Coming in towards later in the evening hours as the game's wrapping up at 9 o'clock or so. Clear to partly cloudy skies overnight. Again, maybe a slight shower and or sprinkle or here or there, but I'm not expecting a washout by no means. And then again, our temperatures as you make your way towards later in the evening hours. Maybe you're not heading out to the Friday night football game. Maybe you're doing other things, going out to dinner or maybe heading to an area park. It's going to be real, real refreshing. So some 60s expected overnight with those calm winds being at play as well. For the rest of the weekend, and as I hinted to you, uh, alluded to you earlier, just do know that it's not going to be the greatest of the weekends because we have a lot of rain that's going to be moving in here. So the main concern we talked about flood threats as a possibility thanks to some of this rain that we've already seen this week. We've already picked up almost four and a half inches of rain in the city of Martinsville just total in the last uh, few days and uh, it does appear that rain totals could potentially go up to three inches at max uh, so right now for saturday expecting a a overcast day so uh, a good day to maybe do some indoor chores and stuff maybe you're trying to get ready to do some fall cleaning get, uh, do the transition from summer to put your summer clothes away and bring out your fall clothes or whatever you want to do or better yet it's a good movie day too maybe head out to some of your uh, favorite movie theaters and watch some of your favorite movies indoors whatever you're going to be doing it's gonna looking pretty wet both again later in the day of saturday will most likely begin to see that rain intensify heavy at times uh, with this so there's not much thunderstorm activity possible but more so of heavy rain than anything else cool on sunday so another uh, sunday is going to be the wettest day of us for the weekend so saturday overcast skies will develop the showers late at night Sunday will be the wettest of the day, so uh, pretty cool right there. So once again, maybe doing some church services and some brunches. You may want to do those indoors, of course. You want to maybe do that, or maybe if you're doing some stuff throughout the weekend, just want to have your uh, self inside. Have yourself a me weekend, as we like to call it. You know, let yourself to kind of detox a little four-day week. Sometimes it's a good thing, and you're like, well, I need a couple more days, or better yet, if you're like myself, who likes to sleep, a good sleeping weather too, so just keep that in the back of your mind. Monday, we will begin uh, the first full week of September, uh, 76 high right there with some powerly cloudy skies to begin the day, and then we'll most likely see scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms as that remnant low pressure begins to finally low, move out of our area. We could see some more leftover showers and storms for us, and does appear we're going to be being, we are going to begin to break out of this pattern that we've been in for the last few days that it's been overcast it's been pretty gloomy almost but it's been nice and cool at the same time as well so our highs are getting cooler some of you are probably itching to get that pumpkin spice latte information and all that good stuff out there right i'm not much of a coffee drinker but for those who like it hey I say it's a good weekend to go crazy for it, or better yet, throw the crock pot on and have something, uh, uh, have that sweet aroma just brewing on through the house. That's my, that's my That would be my suggestion. But other than that, temperature is pretty mild, not too much to complain about. As for the hurricanes in the tropics, we have Hurricane Danielle uh, is expected to be downgraded to a tropical depression by Tuesday, going towards Portugal and Spain. Uh, Hurricane Earl could potentially become a Category 3 storm possible uh, as it may maintain some strength and then it'll begin to weaken as it runs to cooler water temperatures outside of uh, the northern Atlantic Ocean outside of Nova Scotia, Halifax, Canada. Uh, so that's where that storm is not going towards it, but it's going to go in the direction of it. So right now there's two more storms that we're keeping a close eye on that possibly could get named over the weekend. Uh, the next name would be Fiona on our letter name and then I'm not sure what our uh, Gina or Gaston. I'm going to have to double check on one of those. Make sure one of those those names sound right. I have to go back and do some uh, double checking here. Maybe I might be just making names up at this point now. But anyway, so Fiona is the next named storm if it gets named and that storm may follow the similar path as Earl. This other storm may come closer to the in inland United States. We'll get to keep a close eye on that. Still almost a week and a half out for any of that activity to take apart. So uh, Friday night football looking nice. Get out there, enjoy it. Support your local high school, high school uh, sports. Tune into BTW 21. 
7 p.m. Friday night. On our Facebook page, we'll have live coverage of the Game of the Week as we're heading to the hole as the Gretna Hawks are making a visit in Ridgeway. And the rest of the weekend, hey, stay indoors and watch a good movie, or better yet, if you want to do some reading, you can also do that too. We'll talk again next week, let you know how the rest of the month of September will be playing out. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.